This is the Employee to Entrepreneur podcast, the podcast for the family man who's looking to escape the rat race. So if you're a young husband or a father who's looking to get out of his nine to five, and jump into entrepreneurship so that you can live the life of your dreams with your family, then you're in the right place. I made this podcast for you because I am you. I'm your host, Brendan Ryan. And today I want to talk about our spouses. Us as men, we need that support from our wives in order to be able to do this, to be able to make the sacrifices to build a business so that we can spend more time with our family or be able to travel or be able to leave a legacy or whatever drives you, whatever is your why, which is often driven by the family. We need the support from our spouses. And I just got back from Colombia the country of Colombia. Uh, I spent uh, kind of a long weekend there when a bit of a sales, mini sales mastermind, if you will, with a friend. Beautiful, beautiful country. Great food. Weather is perfect. We were in Guatape, which is kind of like Colombia's version of Lake Tahoe. It's right outside of their big city of Medellin or Medellin. And it was a great time. Man, it was great. It was so much cooler than uh, than Florida here. I'm scorching uh, over here in Jacksonville, Florida. So missing it already. It was really great for me to reset and spend some time outside and just get back in a good mindset, back ready to anxious to grind, anxious to hustle. But I was reflecting when I was there about my family and how I really wish that my wife had come with me. And that is something that I have thought to myself multiple times, multiple times over the course of the last few years. And it often happens whenever I go to a conference or some type of event like that, that was really impactful. Um, some type of, yeah, destination where I grew as a person and learned something. And, you know, I can always come home and try to relate that experience to my wife. And I do. Obviously, I try my best, even though I'm a little bit lazy with that sometimes. And so, Corinne, if you're listening, I apologize about that. But it's just not the same thing as if the wife came with you and experienced it herself. And on top of that, when you have that, when you have somebody with you experiencing Columbia or a great conference or whatever it is, you also have that person to bounce your idea about the experience off of them and see how how they are interpreting it how the, how good of a time they're having how, what their thoughts are about uh, the country of Colombia or this idea about sales or this business model or whatever and it helps you kind of digest it a little bit better but really the main thing that i really want to make a point about today in this podcast is this concept and the idea that as a husband and a wife or a spouse and spouse, you are either growing together or you're growing apart. I want to say that again because it's really important. You are either growing together or you're growing apart. As you go through life, you have experiences that make you change, that make you grow, that, that change you, hopefully for the better, right? And if you're doing that separately, then oftentimes, People change like away from each other rather than together. But if they're going through the same experiences as much as possible, then you grow together. And for that reason, I really got to make it a point to take her as much as I can. And that's hard. That's hard to do, right? Because sometimes it's a money thing, right? You got to pay double essentially for the conference or the plane tickets and all that kind of stuff. You have to find somebody to stay with the kids. Um. Or, you know, sometimes it's just something that she might not be that interested in, like a sales mastermind. But when that's the case, I think that that's probably the weakest excuse to not do it, to not have her come along, because it's not just sales. There's there's so much to learn, so much to experience in a, in a place like Columbia. And so I really regret not taking her out of blast had a great time with my buddy Jeff Lundin who's been on the podcast before he was on one of the earlier episodes I think around episode five or six and so if you haven't listened to that one 
go ahead and listen to it. In fact, I think, you know, he was kind of walking around uh, on the podcast with all kinds of different lighting. And he was in the place that we actually visited his Airbnb, Airbnb there in Watape. So, um, yeah, man, it great. Uh, we were bouncing off all kinds of kind of funny business ideas um, and just networking and doing a great job. I think I ended up coming back with a reading list that is already much, much longer than I had to begin with. So I want to keep this podcast short today. I just wanted to make that point about making sure that as a dadpreneur, that you're growing together with your wife. And for that reason, try to involve her as much as you can in your business. Get her to do something, anything, whether it's, you know, be the photographer for the family so that you can post that stuff on social media. Maybe she wants to do some content management for you if she's good at, at social media or if she's more of a beside, behind the scenes secretary type. Maybe she wants to do your bookkeeping, but just get her involved some way, somehow so that she knows what's going on with your business and what you're doing. And on top of that, take her to everything as much as possible. Get her involved because when you have kids, like I do, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old, that precious time to communicate is, uh, is even more scarce than it used to be. And so it can be very difficult to, to, to do that, to set aside time and explain, hey, this is all, everything that went down in Colombia and this is what I learned, et cetera. And if you just take her to begin with, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. And if you involve her in the business, you don't have to explain as much. And so I think that, you know, as aspiring dadpreneurs, we are making these sacrifices alongside our wives because they have to support us. They have to spend more time with the kids a lot of times than they might otherwise. Um, but we're doing this while the kids are too young to remember rather than when they're too old to forget. That's my philosophy anyway. I think that a lot of people that would be entrepreneurs that have their dreams and let them die say, someday, someday I'll start this business and it just never ends up happening. It never ends up happening because there is no perfect time, especially when you have kids, right? There is no perfect time when you have kids, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be them applying for colleges or whatever it might be, you know, 10, 20 years from now. And so if, you, if you're going to do it, do it today. Do it now. The sooner, the better. If you're serious about it, you'll make it happen. And I'm here to support you. That's why I made this podcast. So if you are an aspiring dadpreneur, if you can relate to what I'm saying, please reach out to me. Hit me up in the DMs, preferably on Instagram at I am Brendan Ryan, or on Twitter, same handle at I am Brendan Ryan. And I'd love to help you. I'd love to get to know you. This is my mission to help a thousand aspiring dadpreneurs escape the rat race, kill the nine to five, um, so that they can spend more time with their family and, you know, do all the things that you dream about. And so I highly, highly encourage you. I implore you, I implore you, please, if you are thinking about building a business, if you have that desire in your soul, please do it. Not just for your family, but for the world, because the world needs more entrepreneurs, because entrepreneurs solve problems. We have plenty of those. So if you're thinking about it, guys, and you're listening on Apple Podcasts or YouTube, please give the show a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out. Maybe tell a friend that you think could benefit from the show about it. And please make the transition from employee to entrepreneur because we need you guys and I'm here to help you. That's why we have the discord group. That's why we have the newsletter. That's why we have this podcast. So hit me up in the DMS, subscribe to the newsletter, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the other side.